y'all welcome back to my channel cc stock galore and in today's vlog i will be bringing you guys along with me to do some laundry and how i do my laundry but before we get it started i'm gonna need y'all to hit that subscribe button down below and let's get started oh okay y'all so i finally 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 i'm gonna do laundry about time wait hold on my hamper is like almost breaking my fingers off <laughs> but yeah y'all so yeah, I'm finally getting to do laundry because now there's finally an opening and I'm taking it. The moment I took out the trash out, I was like, yep, this is all gonna be me. But yeah, y'all, so this is how the laundry looks like. <laughs> I know it's not much, it's not luxurious, but this is like the washing machines. There's like at least two on the even floors and I think three on the odd floors. Uh, but for some reason like on the floor that I'm in there's only two I'm on an odd floor number and there's only like two dryers So But yeah, so let me get started to show y'all what I be using for my laundry So my favorite laundry detergent that I use is purex Usually I like to use tide or gain gain is my favorite But like I said people bought up everything because of what's going on during this pandemic so all I could um, grab was Purex. And I was like, you know what, beggars can't be choosers. So I definitely chose that, Purex. And luckily I got a little downy um, from the machine and um, bleach because what I like to do is I like to separate um, my colors, meaning like I like to separate my colors by brights, darks, grays, like pretty much black, gray, anything dark colored, and then whites. So I'm gonna show you guys how I usually set aside my clothes to like do my laundry. These are my whites. I know right now it's disgusting and dirty, but whites get dirty really fast, okay? And it's not like I've been rolling around in mud because that's the bathroom carpet in my bathroom. These are like my bedding and that's just my bra. And I have a couple of like dirty white t-shirts or whatever, but I didn't have like a lot. So, cause there's only two machines here. So I'm just gonna use one machine for the brights and colors and one machine for the darks and grays, so, and blacks and grays and all that. So, yeah, so this is what I do. I already sorted out my my clothes before I got there. So these are this would be considered bright. This is like a bright colored, like, towel. So I'm definitely gonna put this in the wash machine. This is also bright. So pretty much everything is going inside. This would be considered dark because it has like black in it, so I'm gonna put it in the dark wash machine. So yeah, like anything black, just put in the dark machine. That's it, that's literally it. Jeans, um, they tend to be bright for me, so I put them there. If you have like black color jeans, then you put that in there. Red, definitely, oh my God, <laughs> fancy, fancy. <laughs> so I definitely put that in there. This would be considered dark, so I'm putting it in the dark pile so yeah that's pretty much how I um, sort my clothes oh and another good thing too if you have bras that need to be washed you can definitely find some um, bags that protect your your bra so that way the hooks don't get stuck um, with your clothing items or anything and then they kind of like rip or tug at your like shirts or anything that you like when you wash with your stuff. So I kind of got this like little mini laundry bag at Walmart. It was literally like two bucks. So you literally put all your bras inside and then you zip them up. But before you zip them up, you have to kind of hook the bras together and then put them inside and then zip up the bag. So that way your bras can stay in shape and that way the, um, the hooks won't get um, stuck inside as well. So this is definitely like a good buy. I'll, um, I'm actually gonna leave a link um, in the description box so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this is how like I put my bras. I already hooked them inside and then I'm gonna zip them and then I'm just gonna literally just throw it in there and that's about it. It's still gonna get clean. It's just that's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna show you how I use the settings for the machine. So now what I like to do is now I'm gonna start pouring um, the water in. Oh. This was already on, hold on. Excuse you. Okay. <laughs> so um, this is what I'm gonna do. So for me, this load size is large. I'm gonna put it in like to the large, 
okay? And for the wash temperature, you wanna wanna, you're gonna wanna put cold. Um, same applies here. For the colors, um, this is a very, very large load because I literally dropped everything and there's sweaters in there and everything else and my panties and all of that. So I'm definitely gonna put extra large. Be, um, I'm actually gonna put extra large and it's also gonna be cold. For colors and darks, you need to put it to cold water. And I'm both gonna put um, the setting for heavy because I definitely want it to be cleaned good and take its time and everything. Um, if I was just washing bras and panties, I would just put like hand wash delicate and just put it to light and that would be it. And it would be like probably done in 30 minutes tops or less than that. Um, but yeah, usually I always use the regular whenever I'm doing like, you know, shirts and like, you know, underwears and pants and all that. So yeah, so right now I'm gonna put heavy and with this machine, I have to kind of pull up and then the water's gonna start to pour. Same for this here. It's a heavy, and then the water starts pouring. It, this machine's kind of weird because this machine works while it, the lid is open, when the lid is up, but this one won't. It's so weird, it's so weird. And also guys, like if you really wanna see how to really do laundry, you can always read the directions that they have on the wash machines, because it literally tells you how to wash clothes, you know? Just now FYI. That I just put in for the clothes, I literally put like three caps full for each because I feel like that should be enough to clean it. And um, as far as the um, the fabric conditioner, um, I'm gonna put it in now because I'm gonna be doing like my work right now since I'm working from home. So whenever you have like a these old school machine dryers, I mean wash machines, when you have these type of wash machines, I forgot how you call them, but you can pour it literally in the middle. And then when it gets to the rinse, it'll like literally um, de-plug, not de-plug, like it'll literally, wait to the fill line, because it wants me to fill it up. Yeah, so once it gets to the rinse cycle, this, the fabric softener is gonna go down and it's gonna like spread across um to the clothes so that way it makes the clothes soft and not like hard or harsh or anything so it's good sometimes to use fabric conditioner because i know some people don't like to use fabric softener but i kind of do sometimes so yeah that's literally it thank you right now i am going to the fourth floor and mind you, I'm using my elbow. <laughs> elbows, elbows, elbows. Cause right now I wanna do my whites. I wanna definitely get my laundry all done at once. All, just get it done and over with at this point. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I do. So yeah, so now I'm gonna go and use their laundry room. <laughs> Here is always quiet. Oh, somebody left their bike here. Shouldn't they be leaving that outside? This is not like a storage facility, y'all. Like, let's be real, this is a laundry room. But hmm, that's neither here nor there. So yeah, so I like to make sure I turn my shirts inside out and then I put them in there. Just kind of do that. That's literally it. And for my bathroom carpet because it's so it gets so dirty so fast, y'all. Because Milo Simone likes to like sleep on my white bathroom carpet. So right now I'm trying to see if I can um, switch the color scheme in my bathroom. And um, I know you guys thinking like, when are you gonna show us an apartment tour? Um, not right now because my apartment is still looking a little. <laughs> so. <laughs> Because um, I want to give you guys the final product before I show you guys the apartment tour of like what I do, where I live, and all that. Um, but yeah, so before I do the bathroom carpet, it's so dirty. I like to just kind of like shake it out, shake out any crap out, any hair. Because I know I do my hair in the bathroom. Okay, that's it. So then I'm going to put that in there. Same for the one under the bathroom. Ugh, ugh, ugh. This is dirty. <laughs> it's so dirty, y'all. 
but you'll see the end of results. <laughs> so now I'm going to use hot water now because I'm doing bleach. And the load size, I would just put small. It's not mini, because it's not like just the blanket and everything, it's small. And then I'm just gonna do normal because it's really not that serious. So that's what I'm gonna do. Two cap sizes for this load. So I'm just gonna do that. So I'm just gonna do one. And mind you, my detergent is almost finished. I'm surprised people didn't buy and panic buy that because if anything, people should be panic buying cleaning supplies to like clean your clothes. It's like, what are you gonna do when you're at home all day? You're just not gonna like wash your clothes? Do bedding? Like, you know? Same will apply for the rinse. Mmm, Donnie smells so good. I only got this for a dollar at Dollar Tree, by the way. <laughs> I'm not even supposed to use this. What am I doing? But I just use a little bit for my shirts and stuff. Now, for the bleach, this part is very important. Now, for the bleach, I got this also a dollar at Dollar Tree. <laughs> for the bleach, you, you want to put it in this little pocket here. In this little pocket. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it in there. Oops, I kind of made a boo boo. Yeah, that's it. So yeah, so right now I'm going back to my apartment. In about an hour, I'm gonna come back. I think too that I hate about my building, like. It's such a pet peeve of mine, but I, I get it. But I hate, I really, really hate when people remove my clothes from the washing machine. Cause I never do that to people's clothes. I wait until like they're finished and I get it. People are rushing, people are pressed, but it's like, don't touch my clothes. Like I hate when people do that. It's like, why can't you just wait? Like I get it, but it's like, why are you touching my, my stuff? Because you wouldn't like if I touch your stuff and you couldn't wait two minutes, you know? It's like you could wait like at least 20 minutes, but I get it. People don't want to wait, which is just like an annoyance of mine. Right now, I just came to check on my clothes. The washing machines have finished. So now I'm going to be putting them in the dryer. <laughs> I take them out, ow, hit my hand. I take them out and I literally just throw them in there. Just throw it in there. I'm going to put it to delicate because I don't want the heat to be too high. And plus I have like um, fancy shirts and stuff like that and underwear and bras. So I don't want it to be too much of a high heat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just leave it to more dry and that's it. I don't wanna do max dry, just more dry. That's it, and it's on a timer. So right now it's at 65, so I'll know exactly what time to come back and check to see if it's really dry. And then I'm gonna do the same here too. Right there, that's it. Now I'm going upstairs and I'm gonna check on my wipes so I can also put it in the dryer too. Yeah, it is so quiet up here like it's so quiet like because you would think because now that people are staying home that it would be more like noisy but it's been quiet so i'm just like oh my god what's going on you know but yeah so thank goodness um the whites did finish so i'm now going to put them in the dryer as well so bear with me with that <laughs> y'all i hate this dryer like you have no idea it's so complicated to me i know it might look simple but it's so 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 damn complicated oh now you want to turn it on so y'all i have to make sure i put it on the timed dryer and then switch this up because this dryer is so complicated oh my goodness thank god mad aggravating mad aggravating so I just checked my clothes and they are dry. 
And if it's a little bit moist, then put like 10 more minutes in like cool heat or cool tumble. But other than that, that's it y'all. That's literally it. So now I'm going to put them in my hamper. That's why it's best to kind of like um, get the hamper a little bit closer so your clothes don't fall on the floor. Yeah, y'all, that's literally it. Then after that, after the clothes have like cooled down, then I'm gonna fold them and then put them back in my dresser or hang them up in my closet. Luckily, I had color coordinated my closet. <laughs> so I can literally just put everything in the color scheme. And yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for staying with me through this whole laundry vlog. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm the one that's killing shit, hands down. Hands down. If you got a problem with me, stay now. Cause I don't wanna hear no sneak dissing. Huh? Especially not from one you weak bitches. I'm on go like I don't see no stop.